Y'all ready to turn up in this bitch tonight or what? Who got on Reebok tonight? If you got on Reebok tonight, raise your hand. You better have no fucking Reebok on in this bitch. Play that shit with me and Ricky Rose, nigga. Fuck Reebok. We wear Pumas. That's what we do. We wear Pumas. As far as our raw situation with Reebok, I just don't approve of none of that. I don't approve of no companies trying to dip and dab in on our culture. And then when you make a mistake, they dip out on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they still making money off our brain. You understand? Yeah, what's up, man? You ain't moving your shoulders or not. What the fuck is going on tonight, baby? Huh? She came in this big bell concert. She ain't me no. We might gotta get her Molly. She ain't me no. I'm very against that. Ross is off Reebok now. Reebok's still gonna make money off of Ross. You know what I'm saying? Before Rick Ross and Swiss and Tiger, there was no Reebok no more. These companies, they actually follow our culture and make money off of our culture and, and pay us like a pimp out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this bitch ain't working today, huh? Put off the strip. You know what I'm saying? Basically. And me, I'm against that. Me, you, anybody, you fired me, we gonna tear your shit back down. We ain't nobody wearing Reebok no more. I tell you, Reebok ain't cool. We don't wear that. Hey, hey, thanks so much for my nigga Lil Snoop in this bitch. I actually met Young Snoop taking a demo in Louisiana somewhere. I like this demo. He rode up to Philly on the bus, you know. He battled Deshaun Jackson for uh, 10,000. He won the battle. Respect uh, young, hungry, talented young, young nigga from the hood, you know what I'm saying? He come from the same type of place I come from. He hungry, he spitting. He spit off the top. I don't think nobody could go back and forth with him freestyle. You're going to see the night he's going to come on stage. He's going to wrap off his head and you're going to get a good response in L.A. Hold up. I say, L.A., we in this bitch. 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 I say, nigga, I already know I got two clocks. Nigga coming in, I'm living like I'm taking two clocks. Dream Chasers 3. Let me tell you the truth about Dream Chasers 3. Dream Chasers 3 is getting pushed back. I really just started working on all my mixtape stuff. Really, I've been traveling. It's like fourth tour. So I don't like to record all over the place. So I'm gonna actually push it back. I don't know what date, but the day the CD's supposed to come out, I'm just gonna drop some new shit just to hold me over for a few months. If shit ever slow up, I'm gonna charge people for anything I could charge people for in the world. You know what I'm saying? If somebody could charge $1,500 for a concert, we sold crack before. We sold. Drugs, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can charge somebody. But really, what happened is, when I'm on tour, I, I keep my homies around or whatever. If you want to get backstage, and you run into one of my homies, they gonna charge you to get backstage. You ain't just coming backstage. What you coming back here for? If he charge you to get back, I don't got nothing to do with that, you know what I'm saying? But as far as me, I, I give out a thousand dollars on stage every night. Y'all already pick somebody out. We gonna give it to her right here, come on. Come on, baby. You came out the rock with Meek Millie tonight, baby, that's you. Make some money for having a fucking building tonight, though. Make, 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 make. Let me get to the blog girl, too. What she say? She said, Meek Mill charging people for pictures. Meek Mill getting money. I ain't got to charge nobody for no picture. No nothing in the world. Yo, what up? It's your boy Meek Mill, and you right here tuning in to Civil TV. Dream Chasers, Double MG, we in the building.